tan 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 Welcome to April and the kid. The kid. And today we are reviewing a collector's model, an 18 plus set, a display model, one might say, um, but one that's aimed at the adult collector market for display purpose and because these films that it's based on, the Back to the Future trilogy, are from the 80s. And although the kid has seen one of them, two of them, maybe even all of them. You're not massively into them, are you? No, it's more no, of a nostalgic hit for me. <laughs> and definitely not rubbish. No, the first, the second one was the best one for me. All our viewers have just turned off now and unsubscribed. <laughs> um, they're definitely not rubbish. No, they are amazing they are films. They stand up to the test of time, particularly with the 80s being very in vogue at the moment with Stranger Things and that. These films have stood up to the test of time um, very well. Unlike things like Jaws, which aren't so great in my opinion in terms of um okay so this is the latest 20 22 lego time machine it's not the delorean at least it is the delorean but lego don't call it that on the box here's the box shows you that you can build either model i say either model one of three models from from either one of the films there are three films and three models Back in front. So where does it say time machine? There. Oh, okay. um, it is an 18 plus set, like we said, set 10300, 1872 pieces. And it retails here in the United Kingdom for £150. Ouch. Um, yeah, it's expensive. It's more expensive than vehicles of this size have been previously but then everything yeah. is now more expensive and Lego yeah. also put a price hike in place. Mm -hmm. Again, um, is it worth £150? Well, mm -hmm. it's worth it's, it if you want to pay for it. it? Lego is expensive, it's high end, we say this time and time again. At the yeah. end of the day, if it's not worth it to you, then you don't pay for it, do you? And, no. and, this is a thing, we do it, and a lot of people do it, get on Lego's case, it's so expensive. It is. It's too expensive, yes. one could argue, for what it is. But, um, Lego, like any other business, are going to price their products where they think people will pay for them. And that goes for, this, for everything in life, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, so if you want a premium product and you really like it, you, and, you, and you're willing to pay for it, and people do, and continue to do so, then the prices will continue to be high and to go up. Yes. And who can blame them for that? It is good, good business. It is. It's just not great for the wallet. No. You're on the other end of it. But anyway, I think this set is fair value for that money, personally. Being a collector's set, being a set that people have been after for a long time, and there are licensing fees and things, and... Um, to be considered, the design process, the canopy piece which is new for this set and came with a film on it which was great to stop it getting scratched. Please do that more Lego. So I, I you know, I think as far as Lego goes and you, if you like Back to the Future, the films, you are going to like this set and you'll probably yeah. be quite happy to pay for that. If you're not happy to pay £150 for it, I know it's fairly new and it's always out of stock because it's popular. Um, but if you do wait a year or so, once it's not a Lego or retail exclusive anymore and it becomes available in other stores, it will get discounted, no doubt, by a reasonable amount you'll be able to pick it up cheaper, just like the episode one did and other things. Mm -hmm. Mini figs, first of all, from Back to the Future 2. Really nice to have some mini figs with the set, just sets it off nicely, and a little display plaque in front as well. We like that, but Lego, please print these. It's stretching around there like you've never I seen this before. I thought he had a bandage on his foot, but it's some kind of boots. No, it's his, his self-lacing up Nike boots. Wow. That's why I said Nike, not Nike. Yeah. Do you know? Um, because it is Nike, I think. Isn't she the goddess of... Yeah. Okay. What? We digress. Okay, but um, we know that Lego can print these, these display packs now. I mean, these are smaller ones, but even the bigger ones. 
please do that Lego uh, in such a high end set I think that's kind of a must now it just it's one of the most important bits of the set in terms of setting it off and it'd be nice if they were printed so I think that's the plea from the Lego yeah. um, the minifigs are, are, are pretty decently printed um, you know nice detail on there not really much to say about that really they're just yeah. nice little additions to set there to set the yeah. set off and they do add to the value as well so we've said about other vehicles of this size not being as expensive but most of those didn't come with, with minifigures so it's nice that they um, include those minifigures now and it looks like the DeLorean the time machine that it's meant to um, it's not really for play it does go forwards and back it's got a few action features I won't call them play features which the kid will talk you through now if I pass over to him so the first one and one of the coolest is at the front here in there you'll see the little clear bits there's this little knob down at the back with the black thingy on and then <laughs> technical term the knob with the black thingy it's a stud black stud there we are um little light brick in there which lights up the power function the flux there, capacitor which, which has made. a sticker on it that should be a print as well yep yeah, don't mind stickers yeah, right. but i think on that because it's being lit up by the light mm -hmm. brick the sticker because it takes up the whole surface a it doesn't go completely clear because it's a sticker but also it kind of dims the light blurs the light it as does, it comes yeah. through doesn't make it as bright as it could be so that should have been a print as well mm -hmm. please and uh, these doors here open up sadly they don't stay up they close back down it would have been nice if the hinges were stronger so they could step but needs more friction are. doesn't it or it does, some yeah. kind of pin or locking mechanism like, yeah, to lock them up things to like push through them and hold it open sure, if you it, it yes the back here is that little food thing which turns waste into energy that's it we've got some rubbish in there yeah, there's a can gold can Engine. and a banana lovely Bit fiddly, this it kind of like comes off quite a bit. Okay, the bonnet. The front here, yep, the bonnet lifts up and it's the hoverboard and get a box thing. of plutonium yep. used for powering the time machine. And obviously, this would not be a, the Back to the Future car, the DeLorean car, if its wheels didn't turn and yeah. it could fly. <sighs> Obviously, it would not be the DeLorean car without that. So that's a nice action feature, just to show you the mechanisms underneath there. Lots of colours underneath the car, but you're not going to see those mm -hmm. when it's down. And the way you activate it is you just flip this knob up or down. Got that big red leader there, nice and solid. Because of the amount of space that, that mechanism takes up and its complexity the wheels do not steer which i know right. it's a bugbear of yours you want the wheels to steer don't I you i do with it yeah but from my point of view i think lego made the right decision there because i don't think because i'll you have something at the back like a knob here you just have an axle going through the wall of this but exactly like they have done with with previous sort of creator models of, of this size but because of the mechanism for the wheels i don't think that would work no, which is I why they've opted so. for that action feature because it's more iconic than the yes. steering wheels which because i'm going to have it set up with back to the future 2 like i have done here with the wheels up i think that is a good compromise from my point of view yep. and it's nice they've got those little movie easter eggs in there as well um so if we flip leave it back up it's got some little clear blocks underneath here so that it sits just off the top of the desk there just um, so it looks like it's hovering in. would be nice if they'd included a stand yeah. just to give it a little bit more height or yeah. angle but i'm sure wicked brick other stands are available will have come up with something for that or you could customize something for that yep. it comes, it comes with, with the iconic comes with the iconic i'm not sure what you call it it's like a shepherd's, shepherd's yeah, pole isn't it but rods and like they drive through the lightning or something. conductor yeah. that's right so they don't have enough power to go back through or something so they're like build this thing and they remember the lightning strike they're they going up to 88 miles per hour they got they had to and they hook it on the metal just as the lightning strikes gives them enough power to get through and then this will come off that's right yeah that's pretty cool isn't it back to the future 
and the pieces that it comes with to do the changeovers because you can build any one of the three versions of the DeLorean from yep. back to feature one, two, and three. Come to the additional pieces there. No additional tyres. Would have been nice to have the tyres so that the wheels could just be swapped out a little bit quicker. Yeah, but then more tyres, more money. More tyres, more money. If you could work for Lego Boy. Um, the license plates are a little bit fiddly to change because they're on window pieces. I'm not quite sure why they've opted for that. What a pain! Yes, window pane, what a pain. See what we did there? But you have to kind of dismantle the vehicle quite a bit to get those in and out, so that's not ideal. Sticker sheet, not too much there. Flux, flux capacitor one is there. The rest of them are on here. Got the big one for the display stand, the hoverboard, license plate options, and uh, a few others there, which are just mostly details for the interior. <laughs> but the uh, wheels are printed, which is nice. Are they? Yeah. Oh, really? They are really pretty. Really? I know. Wow, I kind of knew that because your stickers wouldn't look that good. I'm just kidding. I spent a lot of time on those stickers. I know. Taking them off, three times, better. taking them off, losing the glue. <laughs> um, and there's a couple of little smaller sticker details as well, yeah, which like, probably do add, although I'm sure they'll yeah. peel off after a while because they tend to these small ones with heat and yeah. stuff. But it's it's a, it's a really nice display model. If you like yeah. Back to the Future, if you like the DeLorean, which if you like Back to the Future, you will. If you like Lego, then you're going to love this model. You I think are. it's fair value considering you get a couple of yep. minifigs with it as well. But if you want to wait a little bit, it will be on sale and at some point, a little bit cheaper. Well. You get the additional yeah. pieces, which is nice to be able to do the swap overs. The instructions include that as well. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I know some people have commented about the windows and swapping these um, sloped pieces out for some just standard plates to make the windows look a bit bigger, which I may do at some point because I do kind of agree the windows are a little bit small. There are some gaps when they put silver, drum lacquered silver bits on, which, you know, probably could have been done. A little bit better but you know, I'm sure Lego designers spend a lot of time trying to get the best look they can out of these things so don't want to be too critical on that I think you know exactly what it is when you look at it yes it would be lovely if it had all been silver you know I think at these high-end prices now Lego maybe need to look at, at sort of doing that at some point making the pieces a little bit more accurate in terms of color but they also don't have all of these pieces in silver so a bit too much of an ask there maybe well, that would have looked cool, wouldn't it? It would have silver. Yeah. But, um, but it's not, but they accented it nice enough in silver and the grey is close enough so you to know what it means. Yep. So yeah, all in all, really, really happy with this. Been waiting for Lego to make a, <laughs> a bigger size, a decent detailed DeLorean for, for years and years. Please, they've finally done it. And please, with my purchase. And now it's going to go on the shelf, never and to now be it's touched again. Shelf. Yeah. And hopefully to be seen again as well. Well, isn't that the joy of Lego? adults anyway. Well when we review some of the more child based kids you can talk about how much fun they are to play with. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> okay so yeah if you're a Back to the Future fan and a Lego fan then it's it's a no-brainer, it's, it's a must. Yeah. Um, yeah it's a little bit pricey but overall with Lego how it is at the moment. Yeah. Goodbye. Good job sure. Lego. Thank you. What do you reckon kid? I think. Final thoughts. I think it's nice. I don't think I would have supported it, obviously, because like, it's not what I'm into, really. Right. But, you know, but, if you yeah, were born in the 80s, like me, and you like Back to the Future, and you've got this mechanism in this car, who says you can't play? <laughs> Thanks for watching, a 4 and... The kids. It's good to be back and if you liked what we've done and you like uh, how we present ourselves Then please and the models, like and subscribe Please like please. the videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, it makes the kid happy It helps us grow the channel which if you're into YouTube then you will know that's really really important to any content makers So um, yeah, we'll see you again soon for more LEGO reviews and more content Thanks very much Bye, Bye.